Why do many animals seem to melt into a happy purr or wagging tail when gently petted? The answer lies in a fascinating mix of instinct, biology, and learned experiences. One major reason is that petting often mimics the natural grooming behaviors animals experience from their mothers and other members of their social groups. Just like a mother cat licking her kittens or a primate grooming its young, human touch can trigger deep-seated feelings of comfort, security, and care. This instinctive connection helps animals feel safe and loved from an early age. Beyond instinct, petting has powerful effects on an animal's body. When you gently stroke a pet, it can lead to the release of oxytocin, often called the love hormone or bonding hormone, in both the animal and the human. This hormone helps build strong emotional connections. Petting also helps lower an animal's heart rate and blood pressure, reducing stress and anxiety, much like a calming massage for us. It activates their rest and digest system, promoting overall relaxation and well-being. Animals also learn to associate petting with positive things like food, treats, and affection, further reinforcing their enjoyment. Certain areas on an animal, like behind the ears, under the chin, or at the base of the tail, are often rich in nerve endings, making touch in these sweet spots especially pleasurable. However, it's important to remember that every animal is an individual. While many animals adore being petted, some may not enjoy it as much, or they might only like specific types of touch in certain places. Watching for signs of enjoyment, like leaning into your hand or purring, versus signs of discomfort, like a stiff body or pinned ears, is key to building a trusting relationship. Ultimately, petting is a powerful way humans and animals communicate affection, build bonds, and even improve each other's well-being.